Well, happy Friday. It's been a long week. It's been a long couple of weeks, actually. Here with Springfield's Morning News, I'm Greg Bishop on 92.7 WMAY. In Springfield's News and Talk, today we've got tons to get to, and a lot of it is going to focus on the Second Amendment and the gun ban and registry that was enacted this week. We're going to talk with Richard Pearson, Illinois State Rifle Association Executive Director, about the lawsuit that they're compiling, and uh, we'll have that conversation with him in an hour from now. Um, also, we'll talk with Rhonda Zell. She is the president and co-founder of Chicago Guns Matter and also the lead plaintiff in a case that went all the way to the Supreme Court challenging Chicago's gun laws years ago. She's going to join us to react as well. Plus, uh, Tom DeVore, former Illinois Attorney General candidate for the Republicans. He's still an attorney and uh, he's going to update us on a case concerning vaccine mandates for some state employees. Uh, So stay tuned for that. That's coming up later this hour. Uh, And also a recent Inspector General report about the Illinois Department of Children and Family Services that uh, shows there was a 40% increase in the number of children who had died after being on DCFS radar for a total of 171 children in the year 2022. Just some of what's coming up here with Springfield's Morning News on WMAY. At 613, of course, you got some weather out there in central Illinois. Nice little blanket of some ice of sorts. Uh, I wouldn't really characterize it as snow. It is a little uh, slippery when you get on it. But I did see some disabled vehicles on the side of the roads with uh, first responders responding. So if you have to make it out today, uh, just be careful. Add some extra time onto your commute because it's only going to get up to a high of around 35. Uh, with the possibility of some more flurries throughout the day. Yesterday was a uh, big day with a lot of sheriffs across the state saying that they are not going to comply with Governor J.B. Pritzker's gun ban and registry and the magazine prohibition that's now in effect. Now, absent any court order that we do expect lawsuits to be filed uh, as early as next week, and again, we'll talk with Richard Pearson from the State Rifle Association about that coming up next hour, uh, but uh, absent any court order, the law's in effect. You cannot go to a gun store. If you're just a regular Illinoisan who has, you know, rights in the Constitution under the first and second and third and fourth and all the Bill of Rights, um, you cannot go to a gun store in Illinois and buy any of the more than 170 different semi-automatic firearms or any magazines for long guns that have more than 10 rounds or magazines for handguns that have more than 15 rounds. That's prohibited under the law that Governor J.B. Pritzker signed. Well, he had a uh, growing list of county sheriffs and state's attorneys that have said that they are not going to uh, comply with this. And in particular, you've got uh, a map that's being compiled by uh, a variety of different uh, organizations and uh, Internet sleuths. And these uh, these obviously are maps that uh, I've not fully confirmed myself. But just looking at the uh, list in the stack of different uh, news releases that have been put out uh, of all the different counties that are saying, no, they're not going to enforce this, it's uh, pretty interesting. Um, The the map I'm showing on the live stream is is all the different 102 counties, and the red ones are the ones saying that they won't comply. Uh, The white ones are the ones that uh, either haven't made a statement or said that they will enforce it. Uh, So uh, interesting to see that. And Governor J.B. Pritzker yesterday, he was asked about the growing number of sheriffs across the state that aren't going to comply with this. And he was at an event in Quincy dealing with uh, veterans homes and uh, new construction and expending tax resources to build new uh, facilities for veterans who've had a pretty rough go here in Illinois. Anybody who's following along. Over the past uh, six, seven, eight, nine years, uh, veterans' homes have uh, not had as much attention on their infrastructure. You had the Legionnaires' disease outbreak during the uh, the Rauner administration. You had the COVID outbreak uh, in the in the Pritzker administration that uh, was pretty deadly. Uh, But uh, Governor Pritzker was uh, on hand, but uh, he was asked about the gun ban and sheriffs across the state saying that they're just not going to enforce the gun ban. Here is what he had to say Thursday, different from what he had to say. Tuesday evening. So here's Governor J.B. Pritzker, followed by Sangamon County Sheriff Jack Campbell, who we talked with yesterday morning here on WMAY. They took an oath of office to uh, uphold the law uh, as law enforcement. That's their job. And I expect them to do that job. 
I, I, you know, you can have all the resolutions and declarations that you want. The reality is that the laws that are on the books, you don't get to choose which ones people are going to follow. Um, you know, if you don't like it, go petition for a change uh, in the legislation or in Springfield. Um, but as it is, you don't get to decide I'm going to drive 150 miles an hour on the highway and there should be no consequences. Um, and the same thing is true about carrying out the um, assault weapons ban and a ban on high capacity magazines and also switches that are changing regular guns into essentially machine guns or automatic weapons. So um, I think we did the right thing. It was a consensus. Um, there even was a, a Republican vote for it um, and uh, an overwhelming support across the state of Illinois, including uh, in downstate Illinois for uh, this kind of a ban. Remember, nobody's guns are getting taken away from them. Um, there are plenty of other weapons that aren't covered at all by uh, this ban, and this ban is really focused on the same kinds of weapons that were uh, banned by the federal government uh, for 10 years, and we saw a significant downdraft in the number of people uh, who were shot and killed uh, as a result of the passage of that assault weapons ban, we expect the same thing to happen here in Illinois. Just because they had enough votes to pass this, um, you know, time will tell whether or not it upholds constitutional scrutiny. Uh, but that doesn't mean we have to enforce it if we we clearly know this is a violation of our Second Amendment rights. Our deputies have a lot to do, a lot to do in this county. You know, our job is to provide this security blanket for all the county. And the last thing we want to do is make a criminal out of a, a legal gun owner. And, you know, we, we are not going to proactively go around, go around and see if somebody registered their weapon. We're going to use good discretion. We, we've, we always have had discretion on our side. And that is one thing we're going to do. We're going to uh, use discretion, educate people as to what the statute, the law says, and ensure that they know, you know, what they should be doing. Um, and again, one thing we will not do is bring them to our jail if that is the sole charge that they have is a violation of this act, uh, they will not be housed in our jail, and we will make that clear to all the chiefs in Simon County. You know, absent other circumstances, absent other crimes that were committed or lengthy criminal history, uh, we will not be housing anybody solely on that charge. So, again, that was uh, Sangamon County Sheriff Jack Campbell in a conversation we had with him yesterday, really seeming to reiterate the sentiment of that growing list of sheriffs across the state uh, who say that they are not going to enforce Governor J.B. Pritzker's gun ban and registry. And again, that list is uh, is rather large of the 102 different counties that there are all across the state of Illinois. All right, coming back, we will talk um, with Courtney Redmond. He is the Illinois director for the National African American Gun Association. I talked with him yesterday, uh, and uh, he talks about uh, the, the, the prospect of uneven enforcement in this and how it's likely going to impact minority communities more. While he opposes the gun ban, uh, he recognizes that uh, there are going to be some issues with enforcement and uh, possibly leading to mass incarceration. So we'll uh, share that with you coming up next here on WMA.